Welcome to In A Flash, the show where we talk about your favorite Flash games in two minutes or less. Today we'll be looking at Nightmare Tower, developed by Juicy Beast and released in 2013. In it, you play as a lone knight sent by a king to rescue his ten daughters who have been locked in a tower by a mysterious entity. How do you set out to accomplish this, you might ask? By launching yourself upwards of the rocket and slashing monsters to keep your momentum going. Oh yeah, and there's lava. Nightmare Tower has a truly unique gameplay mechanic. Unlike other distance-based games where you simply launch yourself over and over again to get a slightly better distance, Nightmare Tower is completely dependent on your skills as a player to get the best score. The more enemies you kill, the faster and higher you'll climb. For each of your failed attempts at the tower, you'll be awarded coins based on your distance, as well as any side objectives that you can complete during your run. These coins can be spent on item upgrades, perks, and potions that will improve your speed and odds of survival. And you're going to need those upgrades, as the enemies you face will get stronger and stronger the higher you ascend the tower. In addition to shop upgrades, you can also come across various bonus items like bags of money, bombs, and the beast horn, which will summon one of three mythical beasts that will award you cash if you manage to slay them. All this culminates in a fun and frantic gameplay loop that will have you coming back for more long after you've beaten the campaign. Do you have what it takes to rescue all ten princesses? Find out for yourself in Nightmare Tower. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a favorite Flash game that you think I should cover in a future video, let me know in the comments below. As always, I'm Kirby with the gun, signing off. Just park the car. Oh, would you let go of my no, wheel? Park the... hey, come on! Hey, watch it, watch it! Ow!